My people, when they tell these women to calm down, they will say that no, we would not calm down. They keep on pushing, they keep on doing a lot of things, and these lots of things are beginning to backfire at them now. So right now, Oluri Miriam is in tears. The woman is in complete tears as we speak because nothing has favored her from all she has done from every single thing miriam has gotten herself involved in it has not favored her in any way at all and right now every single thing has backfired back and miriam is in deep tears just some days ago we heard how olivia de ronke came out to you know um, vividly state how she failed as a first wife in the palace and at that point you could realize that these women are beginning to see one or two thoughts out of the things they are doing but how well would they see fought when even in the midst of their own condemnation they still look for someone to blame because even in the midst of this um olivia deronke speech she still looked for loopholes to, to put it on people she looked for things that she would you know blame it on other persons and in even as much as we were beginning to embrace her speech we we're beginning to be happy that ah and ronke have ronke have finally realized a lot of things yet it was not something to celebrate simply because Oluria de Ronke has not come to a realization of a million things so my people right now know right now as a day like this the whole matter don't pass power yes the whole matter it don't pass power because from what we are seeing right now what we are following Olubi Miriam has completely lost it yes according to her she has been on this matter for a very long time she can't believe how you know things just got out of hand every single thing escalated over time and then she has lost a track of time she has lost focus she has technically lost every single thing that is only miriam because from the last time she checked she was the one in control and in charge of this matter in the palace nobody was ahead of her she was the one ahead and handling every single thing then all of a sudden um Oluri Naomi has come to take over she can't really explain how this has happened in fact she cannot even lay her hands on how these things have reached this point but all she can say is that she is she is tired yes Oluri Miriam has come out to say all of these things she's tired she's exhausted she's exaggerated it seems like she doesn't know where she went wrong that every single thing is coming after her she doesn't know exactly what she did and then, and then if you want to look at these things in a more broader state you will get to understand that it is far beyond what miriam is saying because all this why all these moments they have been saying that these women should calm down they would not listen those were moments that they would sit and reflect over their own lives those were moments that these women had to you know sit and and ponder over every single thing that was happening in the palace but no they chose to you know keep on doing things blindly and this blind state of theirs have brought them down to their maximum downfall and every single thing happening right now like i would always say these women are not ignorant of whatever they are doing the last time we checked olori miriam had a strategy of coming out to beg plead say a lot of things then going back to hit strong and do some other things to you know come back at Olivia Naomi but as it stands right now a lot of exposing a lot of of people are coming now to tell so many things that these women are planning so it is beginning to be a failure at their part if they continue but that very thing and uh, Lola only side chick said it is indeed a thing to consider that these women have more advantage of fighting the Olori Naomi outside the palace as they have vigorously planned to do so. As it is right now, no matter what we say, no matter what happens, no matter what takes place in the palace, we ought to know at the same time we have to believe that these women know exactly what they are doing. So my people right now, now so this matter can't take bill. This matter don't finally reach that particular point where all of us may know the expert. Because even when this whole thing started in the palace, you know, they said the only order that they should lock the palace from there. He said all the Olivia should leave the quarters. 
he, he now said if they if they give him headache they would demolish the quarters everybody to a very large extent thought that it is just the regular routine of things that keep happening in the palace because we have seen how far these things get to go but yeah they don't reach that point where everybody expects they don't reach that that particular limit to which everybody looks out for yes we have seen on several occasions things these things happen like that and as it stands right now no matter what is happening only is definitely enjoying it because they came a time the only wanted these women to stay off every single drama in the palace down to a point that even when these women get to do something the only will behave like it's nothing he will just overlook it just to let these women know that what you people are doing stop it one might be tempted to say that the only did not correct them right but i do not see a better way to which a king will correct his subject they say that um when when a man overlooks your wrong once you don't you don't consider it as a right you see it as something you should never do again so the only telling his wives in a very very peaceful manner that this thing is wrong but more than not try them again doesn't mean they should keep on doing it and even those times those incidents where they only got angry at them yet they kept on doing it over and over again so apparently the only categorically got tired and you know he could not push further with getting angry and being too involved again so he chose to overlook every single thing these women were doing but as it is right now no matter what these women come out to say if you won't drag the only if you won't drag Oliwi naomi if you won't drag whosoever you feel you will drag but the end of this matter still remains that the only tried his possible best so whatsoever miriam has to say whatsoever miriam is doing whatsoever miriam feels it does not change any single thing neither does it neither does it determine what is even called in because the end of this matter will justify every single thing they have told these women categorically on several occasions this is a palace the man you are married to is a custodian of the yoruba culture but yeah these are worlds that does not sink they only they don't live rent free in their heads they only pass they only penetrate to the other side and gradually gradually right now they are all regretting so my people at this point in time or oh, this is what Lori miriam has come out to say she's regretting she's crying in fact she's in complete tears as we speak as per how fast things have turned in the palace and categorically they have turned against her and she doesn't even understand how every single thing is happening so my people as a whole matter take b it will soon end and as soon as this matter end all of us will realize that this woman knew exactly what they were doing because all they are coming now to do is just to buy themselves a little more time to execute whatsoever it is they call a plan because this woman they would definitely have a plan in that palace and all of us make we just buckle up with the sea